Hi, I'm John Caratori and welcome to Smithtown Spotlight. Please join me for the history of Smithtown Center for the Performing Arts. The Smithtown Theater was built in uh, 1933. Actually, it began being built in 1929 and it opened in, in January of, of 1933 as a brand new movie house in the downtown section of Smithtown. It has survived as a movie house till 2001 when it closed in November of 2001, played its last film here in 2001. My wife and I purchased it in January of 2002 and reopened it in October of that year to be a performing arts center here in downtown Smithtown. We have operated it since then. It's now 2014 and we start our 13th season on November the 15th with The Wizard of Oz here. Back in 1998, 1999, there was a rumor going around town that the building, which was then owned by United Artists, was going to be demolished and they were going to create a drive through Starbucks or something or other, that the property was going to be sold. And, the, and I was approached by someone uh, at Rotary at the time who gave me the listing that the building was then for sale, that United Artists had decided to, to sell the building and was selling it at the appraised value of the building. And my wife and I then took it upon ourselves to cash in all our life insurance policies and kids' savings and decided to purchase the building and, and restore it. And the community has been of enormous support for 13 years. I don't think there's a bad seat in the theater. Every time we've been here, we've had a different, we've sit in a different area and it's just, it's a perfect view and, it, and the sound is great. It's just really nice to, and comfortable. We've been coming here for 10 years, seeing all the tributes, some shows, and uh, the theater is excellent. It is, it's a wonderful place. It's good for the town. It's good for the people who come. It's good for the entertainers. It's from the 1930s. Uh, it is just you walk step back in time and they do quality, quality, quality stuff. So please come and support it. Seeing Beatlemania, the cast for I guess the last 10 years at least, and uh, a very good show, the best I've seen yet. We just enjoy being here. The people are friendly and they do a nice job. The Smith Town Theater is special in that, well, it's a historical building. I mean, it's, it's, it's a magnificently, beautifully constructed architectural building that's um, that's got phenomenal acoustics, that's got an intimate environment for the audiences. Um, it's got beautiful decor from the brickwork in the walls to the, to the silhouettes of Mickey Mouse and, uh, you know, and, and Romeo and Juliet that have been a staple in here for, for 80 some odd years. The, the shows that we do, um, we take a great deal of pride in what we do. Um, uh, we consider the other theaters out here to be our sister theaters. We're all in the same business. We're all trying to do the best shows that we can. Um, we do bring in um, uh, professionals from New York City, not for every show, but for, for a good portion of the shows that we do. We, we bring in a, a degree of talent um, that is, you know, of a level that, that uh, we think brings a, a heightened quality to the performances that we bring here. We also bring in, a, um, you know, spe on, on a special event basis, we'll bring in different people. We've brought in anybody from Mickey Rooney to Ben Vereen. We've done, done over 100 performances of plays and musicals, uh, probably 50 to 60 comedy performances, concerts, uh, dance recitals, things of that nature throughout the last uh, 13 years down, um, down here in downtown Smithtown. Ladies and gentlemen, the cast of you here. We've had a, a magnificent uh, tribute group called the Cast of Beatlemania that has played here um, every Labor Day weekend since 2003. The Cast of Beatlemania is made up of a group of five magnificent musicians, all resemble the original Beatles, look like the original Beatles. The fellow plays Paul was the original, original Paul in the Cast of Beatlemania that performed on Broadway for three years. And the fellow that played John was the original John in the first touring production that went throughout the United States. So, um, and they've been doing it for 25 to 30 years. They look, they sound, it's like seeing a Beatles concert, which is something that you, you can't do anymore here. We always create a season of plays and musicals here in the theater. And um, this being, we're finishing up our 12th season now with a magnificent production of, of a show called Murder Ballad, which was an off-Broadway production in 2012 and had a great critical acclaim. Um, it's been very well received here. 
2015 is the celebration of the 350th anniversary of the, da of, of the town of Smithtown. And um, we're taking part in that celebration by bringing movies back to the movie theater here in Smithtown, classic movies. So we're going to start on Thanksgiving weekend, November the 28th, with the 1933 version of King Kong, and follow that on that Saturday night, uh, the 29th of November, with the classic 1939 film Gone with the Wind. In January, we're doing things like a Humphrey Bogart weekend and an Alfred Hitchcock weekend. and um, So we're bringing all of these classic movies back, showing them on a, a large 16 by 9 screen. So we hope to bring that same flavor back and hopefully get people who remember seeing, seeing a movie, whether it is that particular movie, and want to come and see what it was like to actually sit in a single screen movie house and what it was like back before 1985 in the multiplexes. I used to come here many, many years ago when my kids were uh, little and to see the movies and haven't been here in probably 15 years. Uh, it was a beautiful old theater back then. and We strive to bring you the highest quality entertainment that we possibly can on an affordable level. That's what we're trying to do and, and have made an ex you know, a very focused effort on that for a long time. We also do a very good uh, quality education program here um, where we serve somewhere in the vicinity of three to 500 children throughout the year in educational classes um, that we run on uh, afternoons after school and on weekends. Um, we also do a summer, um, a summer camp program. We call it our summer theater enhancement program. And that involves uh, over 120 kids in the summertime that are here from 9 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon, five days a week uh, throughout the summer. And then we also do, um, we do shows where we mount fully staged musicals with the kids um, throughout the year. Um, like last year, we did three shows that were designed for younger audiences, Beauty and the Beast and Annie and... Uh, Susical, and, and then we did one show that was more of a, an adult fair. We did Les Miserables with the kids. Smithtown Theater offers many more shows to come, including West Side Story and Violet. Here, I asked Mr. Washington, what makes the arts so special? People are always asking why, uh, why is it important for the kids to be involved in the arts? And, and um, the arts are, I'd, I'd like to say that they're not competitive, uh, but um, they, they, they are very competitive, as is everything in life. Um, but part, what I've seen over 17 years of doing um, programs with the kids now, that the kids that participate in these programs are, are, are not going to be the next you know, star of television and screen, but they, they come into it a, a communal environment, an environment where they depend upon each other to be able to, to reach and strive towards a common goal. And um, we live in a world where everything is so individualized and everybody has to work on their own. This, the, the, the theater and the arts give them the opportunity to work together, to work as a team towards a common goal. And, and, um, and they, they, they build bonds, they build friendships for life, they build um, passions and, 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 and a great love for for being able to express themselves, being able to shine um, under, under the lights of the stage, uh, being able to dress up in costume, but more than anything, just the friendships that they, I think they develop and, and the confidence and the self-esteem that they, that, that they grow with. It's, it's, um, it's really amazing to see, and, and there aren't a lot of activities that give kids the opportunity to do this. I asked Mr. Washington about a rumor that seems to be going around. Is the theater really haunted? There are rumors that, that the theater is haunted. Um, and we've actually had people say that, oh, I won't go there because the theater is haunted. I think it's, a, it's very humorous, it's very fun. The building is not a haunted building, let's just put it that way, and it shouldn't be viewed as a haunted building. It's a, it's a, it's a living, live structure where the blood has been flowing through it for 83 years, and the blood needs to continue to flow through it. Every theater has its ghost. And those ghosts are the shows that have been presented here and the people that have come to see shows. And everything, everybody leaves their spirit everywhere. 
If you would like to support Smithtown Theatre, here's how you can help. We couldn't have done this without the community support. With our, our members, we have a membership program by where people have, have given us anywhere from, from $50 to $300, and they, they get certain benefits because of that membership, uh, you know, discounts for tickets and, you know, early, early uh, notifications of different events that we've got going on. And they get a whole, um, you know, and because they're able to, do, you know, become that, become a member in our organization, they have, they're the ones that have helped us to be able to, to restore it and maintain it and keep it alive. And our subscribers have also been a big, big asset to us. And those are the people that buy tickets almost a year in advance. They know what our season is for next year and they've already bought their seats and locked in their seats and they're coming to the seven shows that we're gonna be doing next year. If, if all of those methods that I just mentioned in regard to, to subscribing or membership or coming up with a lump sum of money to support us is difficult, we have come up with a new way now for, for people to be able to support us and it's something called a show pass by where uh, for as low as $20 a month, you will be able to come to anything that we put on here with minimal, ex minimal exclusion, sort of our New Year's Eve gala or a special gala event that we hold once a year. But any comedy show, any concert that we do, any theater performance, any movie, um, become, come uh, whenever you want, as often as you want, for as low as $20 a person a month. So, which we would uh, take off of your credit card and just do similar to how you subscribe to Netflix or HBO or Showtime. Um, it's, it's a new concept that we're just announcing and we hope that the community and the businesses will support us. It gives you complete flexibility and allows you to be able to come and see a show whenever you want. Um, for as, as often as you want. If you need any information about the theater, you can visit our website at smithtownpac.org, or you can call the theater. Our box office is open Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sundays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and you can call us at 631-724-3700, or drive downtown and look at our marquee We've always got up there what we've got going on. Thank you for joining us in this episode of Smithtown Spotlight. For Smithtown Government Television, I'm John Caratori.